sign is just a constant on the half of particle phi. That is a sign like Walker and Claire constant will welcome you to the service of Holy Eucharist. Thank you for joining us. Our service continues on page one of your service booklet with the hymn, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Together, let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given to us your servant's grace by the confession of the true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal Trinity and in the power of your divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith and worship and bring us at last to see you in your one and eternal glory. O Father, who with the Son and the Holy Spirit live and reign, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first lesson is from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome, and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And it was so. God called the dome sky. And there was evening and there was morning, the second day. And God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth put forth vegetation plants yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years, and let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night, and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves, of every kind with which the waters swarm and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let the birds multiply upon the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind, and the cattle of every kind, and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God he created them. Male and female he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth, 
and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all their multitude. And on the seventh day, God finished the work that he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it God rested from all the work that he had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain, to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ.
In Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, God said, Let us make humankind in our image. Let us make humankind in our image. God created us in the image of the Trinity. The Trinity is a dance of love shared between God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And God invites us into that love. God created you just the way God wanted you in the image of God. When God created you, God said, it is good. It is good. And God said this about every single person God created. God the Father creates us in love. We are created to love. We all have a special place in God's creation. God did not create humankind to be enslaved. God did not create humankind to be oppressed. God did not create humankind to suffer. God sent his son into the world to show us God's divine love. Amen. On the cross, Jesus died for you and me and for the world to free us from the bondage of sin and death. Jesus is the Son who reveals the Father and the Holy Spirit. Jesus is always Emmanuel, God with us. In Jesus of Nazareth, God showed us how to reflect God's love in the world. In Christ, we are a new creation. In Galatians chapter 3, verse 28, Paul reminds us there is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There's no longer male and female, for all of you are one in Christ Jesus. Amen. My brothers and sisters, Jesus came to free us from bondage. Jesus is determined to reconcile the world. Jesus commissions us to bring healing and reconciliation to the world. God sent the Holy Spirit to give us his divine love. Jesus said to his disciples, go, go and reproduce what I have done in you. Go, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. My sisters and brothers, Jesus commissions us for ministry, just as he did his disciples. This ministry is seated in God's love, in God's compassion, in God's justice. When humanity comes to realize that we are a reflection of God's love, oh, then we will transform the world one person at a time. We will transform the world one nation at a time. Amen. And at that time, Global poverty will be a thing of the past. Racism 
and classism will be known. In the Trinity, God the Father creates, God the Son redeems, and God the Holy Spirit sustains and equips. We have been equipped to carry out God's work in this world. So how do we respond? God's work is to bring his kingdom onto this earth. To do so, we must be willing to put love in action. We must be willing to talk about God. Surround yourself with people and friends whom you can talk to about God. The more you talk about God with others, the more you will expand your knowledge about God. Amen. The more you will empower yourself for ministry. Amen? Amen. In the lesson from Paul's letter to the Corinthians, Paul was isolated from this community. He was isolated from this community. Paul reminds the Christian community to put things in order. He tells them that God's very nature is relationship. As a people of God, we are called to reflect that relationship. Paul encourages them to take comfort in one another. Then he offers a final blessing. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My sisters and brothers, even in this time of isolation caused by the coronavirus pandemic, there is something you can do as Jesus' disciple. Take the time to realize our connection and relationship with our God. God invites us to participate in the creation to help in sustaining and loving of our world and its people. This past week, like many of you, all of my family participated in the demonstrations in D.C. How amazing to see so many people gather in a display of unity, unity but also with the utmost care for one another. As the demonstrations have continued, so have our neighbors, opening their churches and homes, offering protesters despite bathrooms and charging stations. My daughter noted that you could not walk 10 feet without someone offering water, or a snack for free. People sorting the trash and recycling and cleaning up with the crowd. Art supplies and poster board was set up for people to make signs. My daughter is described as a festival of words and music reminding us of the power of our voice. Indeed, it felt as if the Holy Spirit was present in the crowd. But perhaps most powerful were the age of the demonstrators. By and large, they are young men and women in their late teens and twenties, wanting a better future. A future where we see each other. A future where we treat each other as brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Yes, Jesus' presence is with us always. 
You were baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We are confirmed with the same words. We find the same words in the funeral service. And so in every moment, in every important moment of your life, you are reminded that you belong to a community of love. Each of us belong to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Trinity, God invites us to share in a communion of love. God invites us to experience the power of the Trinity in our lives. In Christ, we are a new creation. And through faith in Jesus Christ, we can enjoy the fullness of life even now. My brothers and sisters, God wants to give us peace and light. God wants to give us wisdom. God wants to give us eternal life. God wants to give us his divine nature and glory. God wants desperately to give us the best of what God has to offer. Glory to God. Glory to God. We can reflect the nature of God in our love, patience, forgiveness, and faithfulness. You are an amazing human being. Why? Because you were created in the image of God. I mean, the many challenges in our lives and in the world, know this, you have the freedom to love, and that is a gift. My sisters, my brothers, through the Holy Spirit, we can reflect God's love in the world. The Spirit of God living in us will help will help us transform the world. And so, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you this day and always. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Please join me in singing in Christ, there is no east or west found on page five of your service booklet. For us and for our salvation, 
He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified at the bounteous fire. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the people are form three, found on the bottom of page five. Father, we pray for your holy catholic church. That we all be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. We pray for the sick and shines listed in our bulletin. We continue to pray for the safety of those demonstrating. We pray for all those affected by the coronavirus, for those who have died and their families that mourn. We lift up in gratitude all those working on the front line. We pray for those celebrating a birthday or anniversary this week. May the Lord bless you and keep you this day and all the rest of your life. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, Ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may be like in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. My brothers, my sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Thank you. Thank you for your presence with us on this Trinity Sunday. I want to thank you for your continued support of our ministry here at St. John's. In the service bulletin, we have provided you with information on how you can send your financial donations to St. John's. And so if you are able, 
Please continue to support our ministry as we strive to build God's kingdom in this community and in the world. Jesus said, A new commitment I give to you. Love one another as I have loved you. And so walk in love. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God. The African solo is, O oh, Master, let me walk with thee, Mr. Larry Walker, soloist.
We give God thanks for the unity of the Holy Trinity of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For with your co-eternal Son and Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, in trinity of persons and in unity of being. And we celebrate the one and equal glory of you, O Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. sacrament 
and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For now is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us see the feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep you in everlasting life. Amen.
we continue with the post communion prayer of thanksgiving on page 9 of your service booklet. Together, let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. My sisters, my brothers, life is short and we don't have too much time to gladden the hearts of those who travel the way with us. And so, be swift to love and make haste to be kind. And may the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.
Alleluia. Alleluia. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be God. Alleluia. Alleluia.